Yo, what's up guys? It's been a pretty interesting couple of weeks for us here at Sync, and this is our first change log, so I hope you enjoy it. Now, what do we build? We launched our first API, which is our synchronizer, and it actually lets you lip sync any video to any audio in any language. So a lot of you have been asking for a really easy way to actually just like test out the model. So we launched our web app and uh, it's essentially just like has this playground in it where you can go and play with the model in the browser itself. You don't have to write any code, you don't have to make a request, it's just all in the browser and the instructions are pretty clear on how to use it. Go and try it out if you haven't tried it yet and let me know what you think. Your first five minutes are free, so you can lip sync pretty much anything that you want up until then. So this week was especially interesting for us because we launched out of private beta. Uh, it was pretty hard for us to service all the demand up till now, but we have our infrastructure pretty much nailed down. We have a version of the model that is stable and works on a lot of different outputs. And we actually just crossed our first thousand users, which has been a pretty interesting milestone for us to get through. So we launched subscriptions. You can just go in and you can just play with the model as much as you like up till then. We launched subscriptions so we can handle uh, basically most tiers of users for now. If you have a use case that requires a lot of minutes at a time, just go on our website and click learn more and you can just book time with either me or Pavan and we can talk about it. We can figure out a way to kind of service whatever you need. So what's next for us? We basically have three things that we can work on, which is the quality of the output, the speed of how fast we can actually get you the output, and then uh, essentially how much it costs you to get the output. Up until this point, we've been focused on just stabilizing the cost for the end user and getting the highest quality output that we can possibly give you. We're gonna shift our focus a little bit more towards the speed. So right now, to generate about one second of video, it takes roughly 20 seconds to do that, which admittedly is a little slow, and I've heard that from quite a lot of you. We're gonna pivot over, and we have a better architecture in mind for just how to serve the model in a better way and scale as our demand scales. So our goal over the next roughly two weeks is to get that generation down to about 10 seconds, which is a much bigger step closer towards real time. We're also gonna make some small UX updates and we're listening to you. So any pieces like feedback that you submit either in our Slack channel or uh, on our website itself, where we're actively working on it, our team is having some fun building this stuff. Thank you guys for joining us and hopefully, yeah, hopefully you like this, this video format. Cool, thanks.